<clears throat> what up, squad? Mizzy World Entertainment. This is Mizzy, and I'm here as the host with my co-host, Vern Knowledge, yes, sir. my cousin. Thanks for coming on, cousin. Yes, sir. Uh, we're here to continue our breakdown and review of the 2021 NFL season on Mad Mizzy Sports, and we're here with episode two. So to dive into it, let's break down week one. Week one is in the books. It's wrapped up. What's our biggest take from week one? Vern Knowledge, go first. What's your biggest take from week one? We had a lot of surprises out lot there. So this, I think this is this going to be a good take right here. Me, for me personally, I'm going to say Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers look Ooh. disgusting. Oof. Now, the reason I go to them is because of only because of the off season of Aaron Rodgers. Only because mm-hmm. of his skepticism of coming back fifty mm-hmm. fifty retirement mm-hmm. and to come out and perform the way you perform. So poorly. That's big to me. Now I don't wanna just work it's only one week. I don't wanna overreact. Right. As but he would like to say <laughs> R E L A X, but speculating. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you have to question the the, the you know the will. That's not necessarily the will, but the the, the passion. One, the passion. The passion is the it still there? Is the fire still there? So, I mean, because and, and you look at the way that they lost. I exactly. mean, exactly. It's not like it was a competitive game. It wasn't at all. He played terribly. I think he ended up the game with less than two hundred yards passing. I think under a hundred and fifty yards passing for no, the game. Exactly. When, when when was the last time you've heard anything like that? And they played the Saints. I mean, the Saints have had gotten a better defense over the past right. few years, but they have not been. It's not like they went up against. I mean, a juggernaut. Yeah, it's yeah. not like it was. My Niners two years ago, or like the Steelers, what they uh, passed for us last Ravens year, or something defense. like that. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's, it's that they, that was that said, that was poor. They said that Aaron Rodgers would have spiked the ball on every pass attempt. He would have had a better passer rating if he spiked the ball. That's on every ridiculous. Play. That, that that just goes to show you how pitiful of, of a performance that was that from was. from from quite from an the, amazing from the reigning MVP. Facts from quite an amazing quarterback that we know him to be. Um, the surprising part to me is that you went from to the negative side. For me at Mizzy World, I went more so towards the positive side and my biggest surprise, my biggest take from week one were the Cardinals and the dominance of the NFC West. Mm-hmm. You look at the way the Seahawks performed. You look at the way the, the Rams performed. You look at my Niners, with, with, uh, you take away that little two-minute blunder where we think the game is wrapped up and we sitting down, Nick Bosa, you you can even hear him after the game. He's talking about he's got his tape off your ankles. It's like, right. bro, well, what y'all doing with y'all tape off your ankles? But that, that that's a blunder that shouldn't have happened. And then the biggest one, like I said, the Arizona Cardinals. That 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 performance offensively, that's what we've come to expect from – Cliff Kingsbury and his air raid offense. Now you got AJ Green out there. You're seeing um, Christian Kirk do his thing. Um, of course, Deion, DeAndre Hopkins is DeAndre Hopkins. But um, other than that, the defense and Chandler Jones, they, they surprised me as well. It was a, a full on performance. I, I, I think that was a great performance. You, you, you all right, brother? Yeah, we good. My bad. Continue. So basically, my biggest surprise this week was. Jamar Chase, to me, he had like a crazy off season to where he was dropping a lot of passes. He wasn't looking looking real good in, in in training camp, and obviously he missed the whole season last year, opting out of for the COVID whatever. Missed the whole season in college, then play his last college year. Mm-hmm. So for me, him doing what he did on the field, I think he had like seven catches over a hundred yards. I think something like that, a touchdown. That was my biggest surprise in week one. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, he had a he had a good performance. I uh, can't really. I don't, I don't know. Uh, as I mean, far as, as far as as far as what he put on the field in the preseason and then and then training camp compared to what he did week one, that that was like a total surprise. Like a lot of I mean a lot of people didn't expect that. Okay. Okay. The balance of the AFC West. I predicted that the NFC West would be a pretty good division. I think the AFC West came out and proved that they, of course, we know what the uh, the Chiefs bring, but 
as far as the Raiders pulling out their first first home victory right. in Las Vegas, then the uh, Broncos doing what they did and I the dominant every, every winning team in New that York. Division one too, That's what I'm saying. That's why. And then you had you had two West Coast teams winning and East Coast tough cities to right. play. Now I mean they might be more talented teams when you come to the Broncos versus the Giants or the uh the Chargers versus the Redskins, but those are easily games that those te- two teams could have lost. So right. I would say the balance of the AFC was. Right. Fuck I like the I mean I don't like the Raiders. I like I like the fact that they, they fight. They they in every game. Like even like going back to last year, they it's not a lot of game. You're not going like blow them out every game. They are gonna be in every game. Mm-hmm. Then the Chargers, I think the Chargers are going to be better, obviously. They played, you know, Joey Bosa came back. He looked good. Mm-hmm. Darwin looking good. Mike Williams on the offensive side, complimenting Keenan Allen, you know. They look, of course, and obviously, you know, fucking defending AFC champ. Mm-hmm. So what are we going into? Which brings us to our power rankings after week one, top ten power rankings. Okay. Power rankings, so let's dive right into it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go start at the bottom. I'm gonna go with ten. I'm gonna go with Denver. Okay. Right. I think they they showed me some. I think I knew they was gonna be a good team. Um, I think Teddy B. Teddy Teddy played the hell of the game. Uh, they defense is gonna be good. They can rush the passer with you know obviously with Chubbs. Okay. Fucking uh. Miller, whatever. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna go with Denver at ten. Mm-hmm. At nine, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. Okay. Right. Okay. Like I said, I just talked about the Chargers. The defense looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Back, pretty good. You mm-hmm. know, Darwin James back healthy. Joey Bosa. They look, they, they looking pretty good over there, in LA. I ain't going to lie. Mm-hmm. Got a big game in do- against Dallas this week, though. Let's see. We'll see how that go. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. They 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 pulled it out, but they didn't impress me. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I, I mean, offensively. Offensively, I think they should have did more. Especially, we just watched the Thursday night game. We the Reds the game. Just, yeah, like they didn't impress me offensively. Exactly. So. Especially right, right. you expecting a big lead from Justin Herbert and I all made that. This list before the seen, game. And we seen <laughs> all this, so. Mm-hmm. For me, but I'm gonna go with LA at nine. At number eight, this is the only team I have on the list that lost this week. I'm gonna go with Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I think Cleveland even played arguably the best team in the league this year, this uh, this past week, mm-hmm. and they almost won. Probably should have won. Mm-hmm. But that's Patrick Mahomes, obviously. You know, mm-hmm. they I think he's like eleven and zero in September or mm-hmm. something like that. For his career, like, the, the, like that's ridiculous. The man does not lose to start a year, start the year off. Right. But I'm gonna go with Cleveland. I think obviously the still the skill was there. Obviously defensively, uh, they played a hell of a game in in Arrowhead. That's a tough place to play. They played a hell of a game and could have pulled it out in there. So I'm gonna go with Cleveland at number eight. Number seven, I'm gonna go with New Orleans, man. I think New Orleans is one of like, I think they're gonna be formidable. You can never count out. Um, Sean Payton. Mm-hmm. I think Sean Payton is one of the best offensive minds in the game, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jameis Winston obviously looked good in that offense, in that in that Sean Payton offense. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, he he, he efficient. Stretched the offense. Efficient, stretched, like he had the offense. He had 150 yards and, and only 150 yards and had five touchdowns. That's mm-hmm. that's efficiency, if you ask me. So I'm gonna go with New Orleans at seven. Uh, number six, I'm gonna go with your boys. Okay. I'm gonna go with San Fran at six. Obviously, they had the little debacle at the end of the game, but I'm not. T- I'm not look. You know, when you up on a team, three scores, it's, it's easy to get. You know, complacent. You feel me? So. Still no excuse. Don't no excuse. Up yes, the well, yeah, you point know, lead. You nobody, nobody wants to give up that big lead, but they definitely they did not. They they didn't give it up. They pulled it out. So I'm, I'm gonna have San Fran right there at six. Mm-hmm. Number five, I'm gonna go with the Rams. Okay. L.A. Rams. I think the addition of Matt Stafford is 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 showed in week one. He's a man who can stretch the field, strong arm, deep ball, something that they was lacking with, you know, with with not necessarily lacking, but I think 
um, Matt Stafford is just more willing in that. I mean, obviously he has a stronger arm than than Golf did, but I think he's just more willing to take those chances and then, and then let it rip. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the defense is going to be the defense. That's one of the best defenses in the league, you know. Okay. Aaron Donald in the middle of that defense, so obviously. Yeah, they, they got a lot going for them. You know, Jalen Ramsey, whatever. Number four, I'm going to go with Arizona. Okay. I'm gonna go with Arizona. They played. They 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 beat a really tough Titans team that I think mm -hmm. was, was actually that's really good. Mm -hmm. I think we'll see down the line that, that the Titans will be out do actually be a good team. Mm -hmm. So they 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 beat a really good. I think the I think personally they beat a really good Titans team. They not only beat them, they beat them convincingly. I mean, they've Kyler been to Murray, the playoffs the past two years. So right, exactly. Kyler Murray's been. Ter Kyler Murray was terrific. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, it's, it's weird. It's, it's funny watching him because he's like so small, mm -hmm. but like he plays so big. Like he's like mm -hmm. the man's like five nine, but you the way he throws the ball with that, like, he's extremely accurate with the mm -hmm. ball. Now he's, get, he's getting more accurate as he as his career goes on. Right. But I just think with the weapons around him, he obviously Hopkins, the addition to AJ Green. Definitely building a nice core yeah, around that him. That defense, I mean, the man, Chandler Jones, he had five sacks this past season, mm -hmm. this past uh, week. Uh, fucking J, the addition of J.J. Watt, I mm -hmm. think. I think they, they're going to be formidable this year. And they're at number three, and you know that my last three teams have been NFC West teams, so mm -hmm. it's all the same order. Mm -hmm. I got Seattle at number three. I think Seattle... Only reason I put Seattle over Arizona only because I, I I just trust Russell Wilson a little bit more, and I think Russell Wilson. I mean, obviously Russell Wilson is, you know, that bull. So I put Seattle over him, slightly over Arizona. Like it's honestly, between Seattle, Arizona, the Rams, and and and, and San Fran, the NFC West, this could be inter <laughs> intermingled any way you want to fucking put it. For real, for real. Between mm. those NFC West teams and back right there in the middle. So, number three, I'm going to go with Seattle. Number two, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. I think, obviously, the defending champs, you know, played a hell of an opening night up against my boys. Uh -huh. Tom Brady looked Tom terrific like he normally do. Him and Grant looked amazing. Him in the connection with Antonio Brown looked amazing. Him in the connection with Godwin looked good. Uh -huh. Uh, you know what I mean? So, the, of course, the defense. I think Vega is probably the best interior lineman in the game other than fucking Aaron Donald. Mm. The man just looked like a terror out there in the middle of that defense. Mm. So, I got them at number two. And then number one, obviously, Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes. Pulled out a tough victory against a good team, against a good Cleveland team that went up there and gave them everything. Mm. They don't lose in September, so right now you got to put Kansas City at the top of the list. That's my that's my top ten right there. Okay, that's a good list. I got a similar list, uh, just a few interchangeable pieces. No losers in my top ten. Um, I understand putting the Browns. And they're just, uh, they're on my outside. They're in my 12 slot. So they were just right on the cusp. I just couldn't see wiggling them in there just because, I mean, when you get a game away in that fashion, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's, I mean, you can't blame nobody but yourself. You feel what I'm saying? And right. I can't, I can't wiggle you in when you shot yourself in the foot like that. Like the, the interception at the end, then. Then you think about the, the, the blunder with the punt. I can't fit right. y'all in. But let me start off my list. At 10, I got my Niners. That blunder, that that, that 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 end of the game is just unacceptable and just ridiculous. But we dominated the entire game The from the entire, I would say, 57 and a half minutes. We, we dominated the game. But the, for the last two and a half minutes, we were terrible. So you can't erase that but i'm not going to also erase the dominating 
57 and a half minutes that we look like the Super Bowl, like the team that went to the Super Bowl two years ago. So I got us at 10 at 9. I got the birds. That's the switch right there. So that's the winner that I snuck in there. I, I had to put the birds just because of their preparation. And when I say the birds, I say the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, the preparation that they came with, the way they put Jalen Hurts in a position to be successful, the way they dominated. I don't expect much from the Falcons, but just off a of week one performance, I got to I got to give uh, the Eagles some kudos, so let's give them the number nine slot. At eight, I got the Raiders in there. I think them coming out, fighting back, battling back, because when I thought the Ravens, when I seen the Ravens go up 14, I did not see them really coming back. I saw, I thought that the Ravens were going to run away with it in the Las Vegas opener, but to see them come back like that was like, uh a sign to me that they're changing in the right trajectory, especially the way that it was turning out, especially when they had the overturn call in OT and then Lamar Jackson got the ball back and they still pulled it out. I got to, I got to fit them in there at number eight At seven. I got the Steelers for them to come out and for one shut down who everybody thought should have been the MVP. Well, not everybody, but who everybody had as the MVP runner up last year in Josh Allen. He, he didn't play too well last week, and that Steelers defense showed up and showed out. TJ, um, uh, Haywood, all of those dudes, Hayward, it was, it, it, was, it was an amazing showing from them, and then Big Ben coming through at the end. I got to sneak them in there. At six, let's get into my breakdown of how I see the rest of the NFC West stacking after week one. Uh, for me, it's the Seahawks. I felt as though they could have done more on the Colts. To me, they weren't as dominant as the rest of the West. I put them ahead of us because they were more consistent than us. They didn't blunder at the end. But I also don't think they dominated their opponent like we dominated the Lions at certain points of the game. So they did play probably a tougher opponent. But I still think the you got to really th- still think about that. The Colts are still getting used to having Wentz. Like, the Colts then like, Wentz was out almost the whole offseason. So, that's not – I don't see that's what the Colts are going to be maybe in week eight, especially if Carson Wentz can stay healthy. So, I felt like they could have dominated that game a little bit more. But um, I got them at six. At five, I got the Rams. I thought the Rams were amazing. Matt Stafford looked like he was worth the trade, and he looked like uh, he's about to save – well, not safe because I don't think uh, Sean McVay's job should have been in question, but some people were saying it, it could have been. But um, it looks like they're going to be a match made in heaven. At four, I got the Cardinals. Like I said, that the showing that they had in week one was just dominating, surprising, and well-rounded. That was just amazing to me against to what Vern and I both believe is a very good Titans team. Now let's get into my top three. At three, I got the New Orleans Saints. For them to come out there and do what they did like that. And I say them simply because if anybody knows me knows that I truly believe that if Jameis Winston would have started in that playoff game, they would they would have had a lot better chance of winning and probably would have won that game simply because they wouldn't have been able to sit on the intermediate routes that only Drew Brees was throwing in that time. So, I I really have high expectations for what uh, Sean Payton and Jameis Winston can put on the field. So, this to me is probably, they, they'll probably fluctuate through the top 10, but I don't see them falling further than 10 throughout my season. That's my prediction going forward. But let's get into the top two. To me, it's easy. Two, I got the Chiefs just because they the Super Bowl runner-up. They didn't lose. And I got the Bucks at number one because they're the Super Bowl champs and they didn't, they lose. didn't lose. It's that simple. I think the Saints are a little, little high on the chamber, but I definitely, I definitely see them maintaining the top ten. I, I, I think they're gonna be good this year, bro. I think they're gonna be a playoff team. They're gonna be fighting for that. They might. I, I feel for like me, everything think- is based off of not how I project them moving forward. If it was, it probably would have been switched a little different. It's all based off of the performance from oh, the week performance one. Last week, yeah, true. So that's why I put them so high. Like you, I mean, even if they just beat Aaron Rodgers, they're probably still in the top ten. But for you to come out dominate him yeah, in Lambeau Field, yeah. Hey, listen, man. 
Y'all, y'all, y'all are my three team right now. And they defense will be good. It's not just like the dominance of, of the offense. They, they made Aaron Rodgers look. They made Aaron Rodgers look like he was the regular QB. And right. They, so what we getting into next? I think that was it. And then we getting into uh, our our uh, what we getting into uh, um, upset pick for oh, week yeah, two. Yeah, 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 so you got an upset yeah, pick yeah. for week two. Let me look at it again. My upset pick for week two was I, I think Seattle's on upset watch this week. I'm gonna say Seattle that Seattle's Titans game. Seattle Titans. Yeah, I think oh. Seattle might be on upset. I think just I just I think it's gonna be a good game, a close game. I just think. Given the loss that the Titans took last week, mm-hmm. I don't think they're gonna. I think they're just gonna come out on their on their P's and Q's. I think they're gonna run the ball. Mm-hmm. I think Derrick Henry is gonna be Derrick Henry this week. I think he's gonna be. He's not gonna have thirteen, fourteen yards, whatever he had last week. Um, so I think. I think. I think. And and then I mean, recently Seattle hasn't been traditionally good recently of stopping the run. Mm-hmm. So I think. I think. I think. I think Seattle's on upset word this week. Okay. I can see that. I could definitely see that. Like I said, I didn't see the dominance that I felt as though they could have exerted on the Colts, especially right. in their vulner- vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? It was still a close game when you really, I mean, the really look at good, it. Colts got a good defense. Of course, yeah. They, they, I mean, they still got a good team in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, my upset pick is I think the Ravens going to bounce back and knock off the Chiefs for the first time yeah, in this rivalry. In, in this rivalry. I'm going to say L. Jack going to bounce back. I think he's going to have a great passing game. I feel as though he's going to, of course, do his thing running the ball. But I think their defense is going to really come out there and uh, put the clamps on, 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 on the Chiefs as much as possible. I see some turnovers being made and all that, some big plays happening, of course. But... Uh, this is mainly a, a heart and gut pick because uh, L. Jack is my guy, but I'm yeah, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I can see that though. I can see L. Jack. You know, L. Jack had two costly turnovers last week. I can see him taking better care of the ball. You know, mm-hmm. making it a you know, a, a, you know something he has to do with taking care of the ball, making it not, a conscious effort an effort to not turn the ball over. Mm-hmm. So he's he's not throwing he's not turning the ball over interception wise. Mm-hmm. So it's all about you know. Getting, on to the ball with down two balls. When you got to get down, exactly. not taking those extra hits for right. no, you know what I mean. You feel that pressure, wrap up with two hands. Don't be trying to squeeze out the pocket with the ball out like a loaf of bread right. and all that. So and I, especially obviously playing against Patrick Mahomes, you want to be on all. You want to execute at at all I, costs. Exactly. You want to uh, you want to execute at optimum speed. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Definitely want to take advantage of the opportunity that is getting, given. And then the Chiefs, I mean, they, they, they look like they still was a little vulnerable on the run side against the uh the Browns. So we'll 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 see. Right. We'll see. Right. And then and the crazy thing is as is much debacle as or the injuries that you see with the Ravens, they still ran the ball well. Of course. I mean, because it's a system still. It's you know what I mean? System. Next man up. I mean they Not to mention that Lamar Jackson is more than half of the run game. But exactly. And of course, he's still the best ball carrier that they have regardless. So, he's still toting the rock. He's still back there. He's still a threat. So, that's always the option. So, anything else before we get out of here? Hey, man, I just want to give my shout-out to my boys, man. Honorable mention, man. I had them at number, like, number 12 on the list. You know what I mean? My boys play well against the defending champs, man. Look out for my guys, man. They they they, they sleeping on this, man. I think I think I had them in my top twenty, maybe my top fifteen. I believe I definitely had them in there and recognized their game. It was a it was a good showing that they put out there, as we discussed last week. But um, y'all know what it is. Make sure y'all follow us, Vern Knowledge on Instagram, all one word, Mizzy World E N T on Instagram, all one word. Make sure y'all follow us. Tune into the episode. Stay tuned for next week. We'll be breaking down week two. Y'all know what it is, man. Like, comment, share. Make sure y'all comment and see where Vern going with this Jag shit, man. Cause I, I think, I think, I think he uh shits creek with that one, y'all. Hey, listen, fuck I think out he, of here. I think he up shits creek with that one, y'all. They gonna be nice. <laughs> y'all know what it is, next man. Next year, <laughs> <laughs> gang. <laughs>